Pay attention, pay attention. This is chemistry hangout. I have been seeing a lot of panicking as regards the physics, WIAC, GC, alternative to practical, especially now that it is CBT. This is not a popular opinion, this is just my own initiative, and I believe it's going to help a lot of students out there. If you if you if you are familiar with alternative to practical for physics, you will see that for every question given in mechanics, there must be a ruler to measure some dimensions that will be recorded. If you have checked our previous video, you see me using a ruler to actually measure some dimensions and I will record them. But the problem this year is that it is CBT. And if you agree with me, it is not possible for you to measure with ruler on the system. You cannot put ruler on the system and begin to measure. I've had a lot of educators that have reached out to me and said, Kemsi Angar, how do you think the physics is going to look like? You know, it took me time before I'm able to come up with this. Mind you, I'm not saying this is the exact thing, but looking at all possibilities, because there will be mechanics in the question, there will be light, there will be electricity. So if we are giving metrics on that day, how do you measure with ruler? And that's the reason for this video. Because if you have been following my channel, I've done a lot of alternative to practical physics. All right, but this is CBT, and it's just a simple thing. You are not there is no need for you to panic. Just listen to what I've said. I'll just quickly do one or two things, and I'm done with the video. It's not going to be a long video, so pay maximum attention. So the only difference between the alternative to practical for physics that I've done before is that this one is CBT, and the measurement is even more simpler. Yes, the measurement is more simpler. Let's come to the let's come. Here. Now look at this. All this thing you are seeing on the board will be what you are going to see on your system on that day. You are going to see this diagram on your system because it's CBT. This diagram will be displayed on your system. All this writing, the spiral spring is suspended vertically and you are going to read all these things. Please, take your time to read all these things. I don't want to go over all these things so that I don't waste your time. I just want to bring out... The reason I'm doing this video is just for two reasons. And that's the reason where I want us to go. So this is the diagram, of course, you are going to get the diagram, it's going to be on the system, okay? So you are going to see this, you are going to see all this writing, then you see this procedure is repeated for 500 values of M, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 600. If you have read there, you see that M is given to be 100 before. So which means that they did the practical about six times, for 100, for 200, for 300, for 400, for 500, and for 600, all right? So in each case, the values of L and corresponding value of T are determined and recorded. Figure 1A and 1B, you are still going there. Then measure and record the real values of L, measure and record the real values of L0, sorry, this should be L0, then measure and record the real values of L1, all right, and the corresponding value of T1 like that. In each case, determine the period. This is where I'm going. Here, and please come to this diagram. Now look at this. Figure 1A is this. It will be seen on your system on that day. Figure 1A is this. It will be seen on your system like this. Figure 1A. This is figure 1B where you are going to take the measurements for time. You don't need a ruler for this. But look at this. You need a ruler. So the, the possibility of what I saw is that a ruler will be infused for you naturally. Did you see? Because you cannot bring ruler on your system and begin to measure. That's why I took my time to draw this. You cannot bring ruler on your system and begin to measure, no. So, a ruler will be instilled naturally for you. So, your own is to look for where L0 is, take the readings of the ruler, look for where L0 is and bring out the value. Look for where L1 is and bring out the value. So, it's easier. So, instead of you to measure yourself now, they have given you the ruler. You know, your ruler is from zero, right? So, which means the ruler they gave me is from zero to around 13. That's the meaning. So the reason why it is like this is because you cannot use ruler to measure on the system. If it is something like this now, it will be given like this on the system, you can measure. From your system, you can measure what T is and the rest. Did you see? But every time that you need a ruler, the initiative I'm seeing for the CBT is that the ruler will be infused naturally. And that's just the difference. And if the ruler is infused naturally for you like this, then it makes your work to be easier. It makes your work to be easier. So let's have the table. I'm not going to do much. I just, this is the reason why I have to do this video. Just the reason. 
Why after? So what I perceive is that the ruler will be instilled for you. You just take the readings and that's all. Do you understand that? So let's make the table from here now. Let's make the table. So let, let's read the question so that we can now have the table very well now. So measure your record the real values of L0. Did you see? L0. I've said that severally. Anytime you see something L0, T0, I0, it's not going to be in your table. It's going to be on your table. I've said that before. Anytime in physics, you are saying measure I0, L0. If you take your time to read the question, it's going to be on your table. So our L0, let's read our L0. So L0. Did you see? This is L0 now. So I will read. This is 7. Did you see? So this will be 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5, 7.6, 7.7, 7.8, 7.9, 7.10, 7.11, 7.12, 7.13, 7.14, 7.15, 7.16, 7.17, 7.18, 7.19, 7.20, 
very easy. This one is even much more easier. Then we have 12. This is 12.1 times 5. That's 60.50. Then we have the last one. This is 12, 12.1, 12 12.2, 12 12.3, 12 12.4, 12 12.5. 12.6 times 5. 12.6 times 5. That's giving us 63. Zero zero. Now that's all for my end. Then the last one, I will have to to pick a value for my what for my t, right? I have to pick a value for my t because they said it shows the value of t. So we have measured l one. So we want to measure our our t now. So for our t, that will be in seconds. This is that that will be in seconds. I should move here a big t. So in seconds, so we are coming here now for the T. We are coming here for the T. So if you look at this, this is 7, this is 8. So this is 7 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5, 7.6, 7.7. That's 7.7. But if you look at our 1B, they are not giving us 1 centimeter to any 5 centimeters. So we are recording the anything that we see. So if you read that, we are going to have 7.70 for that. Then the next one, let's go for T2. T2, this is 11, so this is 11, this is 12, so this will be 11.9, 11.8, I'll be 11.8, I'll be 11.80, this is that now, so that'll be 11.80, the next one, this is 14.1.2.3, that'll be 14.30, when you understand the origins, it doesn't take time, this is 16, 16.1, 16.2, that'll be 16.20, then we we'll move on, to what T5, that's 18, that's strictly on 18, that'll be 18.00. Then we'll move on again to 19, this 20 now, so this 19.9, 19.8, that's 19.7. That's all. 19.7. Please check it so that you see some of those things. So they are very, very easy. They are very, very easy. And it should not take us much time. It should not take us much time at all. Should not take us much time. Did you get that now? So if you know the main emphasis is on this and this, the main emphasis, especially on this, that's the main emphasis. So from there, what do we do? Let's move on. They said what we should in each case we are done for t, that's not t. In each case, determine period t. So and if you remember, our period t is going to be the small t over what? Over 20. How is it 20? Because for here they have 20 complete oxidations. Did you see? 20 complete oxidations. So let's go now. Which means this one will be divided by 20. 7.70 divided by 20. We are going to have 0 0.385. So we have 0 0.385. This one is in seconds. We have 0 0.385. 11.8 divided by 20. 11.8 divided by 20. I'm going to write 0 0.59, 0 0.59, you have the zero because you have the three decimal place, all right? So we have 14.30 divided 20 is going to be 0 0.715, 0 0.715. Then we have 16.20 divided 20, divide 20, 0 0.81. So it's giving us 0 0.81 on the calculator, the other are zero, so that it should be to three decimal. Did you see? Very easy. The physics is very, very easy. 18 divided 20, that has given us 0 0.9. So we are going to have 0 0.900, 0 0.900. Then the last one, which is 19.70 divided by 20, and that gives us 0 0.985. 0.98. Did you see that? Please let the camera zoom that very well. This is just what you need to do. Then the last one now. They said something. The last one. Let's see. They said determine t square. So we have two more things to determine. You can actually complete the table yourself. That's why you know, we are just giving you. So t square. So which means that you are going to square this on your calculator. Just do 0 0.385 square. Then the last one now. So there is still going to be another column. And the column is equal to N1. 
minus L naught. So that means, let me have this column. Let me just, let me have this. So you fill in this yourself. So E now the L1 minus L naught. Did you see? So what is my L1? So this is my L minus L naught. So it will now be 43 minus this. You put the answer. Let me help you put that one. So you do this yourself. That, that's not a problem. So this, that's L1 minus L naught. So 43 minus 39. That's giving us 4. So let's go to two decimal places. So that would be 4.00. Did you see that now? Then 47 minus 39. That's 8. That would be 8.00. Did you see that now? 51 minus 39. That's giving us 12.00. Did you see that? Then 55 minus 39. That's giving us 16.00. Then the last one, 60, 60.5, 60, 60, sorry, 60.5 minus 39, that's giving us 21.50. 21 then the last one, we have 63 minus 39, then that's giving us 24. 24. Did you see that? So you can do this T square yourself. Just square this. 0 0.385 or square. You write the answer. And that's then you cannot plot your graph. Is a plot a graph of the vertical axis against plot a graph of E on the vertical. So here is the E. This on the vertical, E on the vertical, and T square. This one on the horizontal. And that's all. If you don't know how to plot graph, we have done that on our channel. And that's just it. Gotcha. So the main emphasis is from this, all right, and this. When you get that, you are good to go. So you are going to receive this on your system on that day, and possibly it will be infused there. Do you get the ruler will be infused there? Just pick your value, and that's all. So share this video to your friends. This time, Zambia will love you. If you look at this video, you can see we are going through a lot during this video. It's been a busy schedule for us, and that's why you know we are shooting this content late at night just for you to actually do well in your exam. It's not easy on our head, but you know, we just have to do this so that we can always reach out to a lot of millions of students that are out there waiting for us to release our videos so that we can prepare with this. So I wish you good luck, I wish you success, I wish you a wonderful result. Share this video, like this video, comment, we love you. You can join our WhatsApp group too, we can send some questions there that will help you to be able to pass the exam. We love you, thank you, and God bless you.